Gentlemen, please. In the name of Allah, the most proficient in my school, my dear people of Zambra Step, it becomes necessary for me to address you once more on the issue of security in our dear state. It becomes even more compelling to deliver this address following the recent incidents of bloodbaths in some communities of Anchor and Bukun local government area in order to give the actual account of what transpired and step where they taken. As you are aware, the security measures taken in recent months coupled with the intensifications of assaults by the security forces against the various bandit enclaves in the state in the past few weeks have put the bandit and their collaborators in a tight corner. They have been deprived of oil, food supply, and other means of sustenance, which give them the impetus to hang on their criminal activities. As a result of the measures, many of the bandits compared moving from location to location in search of new fortresses in the course of their movement. They unleash terror on any community they pass by. For example, the recent incidents in the village of Mohai, located between Magazu and the Ankara, occurred following a distress call received by the security forces that a group of bandits traveling in a motorcade of about 50 motorcycles were sighted. The security forces responded immediately and engaged the bandits, successfully neutralizing most of them. We recall that I was at the center of operation to cheer up our troops and transport the four wounded soldiers to the hospital here in Kusau. The, the gruesome carnage at Kofadaya of Bukum local government area, where 36 innocent people were killed, and in Anka local government, where seven villages were attacked, four of the uh, villages were bombed and 22 people lost their lives. Was a result of such movement by the bandit. Intelligence has confirmed that a notorious bandit operating in the Shinkafe Agdis was dislodged from his Shinkafe enclave by a series of bombardment by Air Force. Nevertheless, the infamous bandit and his uh, gang decided to relocate to the area around Anka and Bukum forcing unprecedented mayhem and bloodbaths in that process. I visited the affected community yesterday, order reconstructions of the affected villages and provide food and other essential commodities to displaced households. The operations to rule base bandits out of their new hideout are currently on their way, and as soon as the reconstructions of the villages is over. The households will return to their communities and security forces will be stations in the areas to provide the assurance to the people of that community. My dear people of the Prestel, while we are concentrating with the various families and the communities towards by the recent incident, it is not to us for us to take a step back and view the development in a bigger picture. The recent incident signifies that the Nose is starting on the bandits. They have been dislodged from their hideout. They have scampered to some a new locations in the state of a great trepidations. Many of their kingpins have been taken out by recent military onslaughts. The current situation has left them with no option but to hang on whatever they call in order to survive. This also explains the reason for the recent deceptions and the cowardly, cowardly calls for the trust by one of the most notorious bandits in the decade on the history of banditry in the state, that is Turji. The current situation where the bandits are trying to put up a pace, therefore, is the vast bank of a new peaceful and for a state in Shanghai. The current state of affairs obviously calls for the sustenance of the security operations and other measures we have put in place, as well as the continuation of prayers of our gallant security to our gallant security forces in the state. As I have personally visited and demonstrated all the affected families and the communities in Anka and Bukur local government areas, I wish also to commiserate with the entire people of the first state who are affected in one way or the other by recent incidents. My 
Almighty Allah give all the innocent people that have lost their lives and grant them eternal lives in and Jannah protect them. I assure you that we shall soon reach the promised land with the sustenance of the current effort by our security, inshallah. Thank you and wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.